good family back at it again with the vlogs um, today is part one of two I, I assume um, today's a Friday afternoon um, I decided that I wanted to go car camping is that what you call it well I wanted to go camping but I also didn't want to purchase a tent and all of that good stuff so I just went to Walmart and bought like a seven dollar air mattress I'm gonna pop it in the back of my car and I'm gonna sleep there I guess I mean yeah so I'm going over to Silver Lake State Park um, that's in Midwest Michigan uh, on along Lake Michigan Seems like a good time. I just really wanted to get out and off campus because I don't have class on Fridays because I'm here for May Express um, and I wanted to just do something with my life instead of just staying in the dorm. Uh, class is not that bad so I thought that I could take this opportunity to see a little bit of Michigan. I don't even know. I don't even know how, how this is going to go. I kind of just said okay I want to do this. Bought like $30 worth of supplies. And I'm just like, all right, I'm out. And I'm out, obviously. So I'll check back into you once I get there. It's gonna be two hours and 15 minutes approximately to get there. But it looks like it's gonna be sick. I'm trying to get some nice pics and I'll be sure to share that with you guys once I get them. So yeah, stay tuned. And thanks for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate that. Bye. <laughs> So shout out to that voiceover, um, I was just trying to explain that I just pulled up to the Silver Lake State Park in the campground area, um, it was really windy so that's why I didn't use any of that audio but uh, I pulled up in a tee and some shorts, shorts and it was actually really windy and really cold so um, I decided that I should fix that by putting on a sweater so I think I did put on a sweater later on but um, this is this is basically uh, Silver Lake State State Park that's Silver Lake right there there's some uh, sand dunes in the background I don't know if you can tell but they're pretty they look pretty small from this angle but they're actually pretty tall and um, they have some dune buggy rentals but you already know your boys broke so uh, we didn't I didn't end up doing that but I don't know, maybe sometime in the future I can go back and do that. Hopefully in the end of the summer um, when I get back to Andrews. But yeah, so um, I was just trying to figure out if I could park in this campground overnight. Uh, but then yeah, I was gonna go and head over to the dunes basically. Shout out to that audio transition, it's lit. So the campground was a no-go, I couldn't park there overnight. It just got me, me a hot dog here at this like dip dip place of ice cream um, I'm just gonna eat this and then head to the park I think she said that there was a place in heart that um, you can park overnight so that that's probably what I'm gonna do instead of sleeping in the park because I don't I don't even know if that's a possibility but I whipped on my sweater now I'm feeling <laughs> a lot less cold but hopefully this hot dog fills me up so I can have some energy when I'm walking around for the rest of the day I think I'm like Honestly, I just want to get like some sick photos and like maybe a sunset photo. So I have like five more hours to go. So I'm not really in a rush because I'm going to be here for a little while. But yeah, I'm going to just chow down on this for now, I guess. So yeah, we made it here to the dunes. It's my car. The dune is like maybe, I don't know, like four times the size of my car. Um, but I might just walk up there. There's people up there. I don't know if you can tell. But I'm going to pack my bag I guess and then go up there it's pretty tall um, I don't have the right shoes on right now I'm gonna take a photo for the gram because this is pretty dope yeah let's get it
Okay, well, we're here. I don't know why, there were stairs, okay? There were stairs, I don't know why I decided to take the straight up route through the trees. I got some sick pics, look. Ta-da! But, um, wow, that's tiring. I'm so close to top two. But every step you take, you move up a, a foot, like a step, and you slide down like half a step. So it's like going up twice. But yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing, get the top, and I'm sure by the time I get there, it's gonna be a lot easier than it is right now. Made it to the top, ladies and gentlemen. I'm all tuckered out. Um, this is it right here, kind of. Um, but yeah, made it to the top. Um, this is my shoe. That's only one of my shoes, but the other one is still full. Anyways, I'll walk around, take more pictures. Um, maybe drink some water or something. It's still pretty cold and windy, but it looks like it's supposed to be hot now. Watching these dune buggies go. Uh, we still got maybe an hour and a half until sunset. So I might, I don't know, I might nap or something. Um, but yeah, trying to get this sunset photo. It's gonna be pretty dope actually, but yeah, I don't know what to say, man. It's just so relaxing. There's not much to do, but it feels, you don't feel like you need to do something. So I don't know, I'm enjoying it. It's cool to take some time off and like kind of relax before things get too hectic, before you have to work or go to school or whatever. So I'm just taking this time, enjoying it, not taking it for granted. So I think it's gonna be a good maybe hour and a half of just relaxation right now. I feel like I should get a massage, but yo, can I get a massage? Yeah, no, no, no one's around. So. <laughs> I changed my mind. I didn't stay at the dunes. I came to this lighthouse thing. I'm trying to get a sunset photo. I think it's gonna be all right. I should walk around a little bit more, but I think I find a good composure right here. We'll try it out. I say today was pretty successful. Um, well, yeah, actually it was. There were some bumps <laughs> along the way in the morning and uh, me leaving kind of late, but come on, like, man, look at this. Somebody come look at this. You can't tell me that's not a good end to the day. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to chill here for just a little bit more. Just taking the sunset. Um, and then maybe I'll grab a bite to eat find a shower somewhere <laughs> and then go to bed and then we'll see what what I'm gonna be up to tomorrow I might go to Holland to see their tulip festival but yeah not so sure yet so this is both a sketchy and B I don't know if it's illegal but I don't know it might be illegal but I'm here at a rest stop in uh, Michigan pulled over you already know I got that uh, mattress in the back covered all my windows I don't even know how this is gonna work or if someone will stop me from doing this but it doesn't seem like someone will so yeah I'm just getting ready for bed tonight seems like it's gonna be okay 
I don't know. At first I thought it was sketch, but I mean it is sketch. But I think it's gonna be all right. It's getting hot though. Just gotta pump up my bed and then get ready. Got that air pump, G. Welcome MTV Cribs to my room, as you can see. Cut that bed, I got my blanket. Um, the back window is open. I didn't have enough <laughs> um, pillowcases to cover it up. But it's okay, whoever wants to see me sleep can see me sleep, I don't care. I'm kind of sleeping at like a 45 degree angle. My my head is kind of really raised up, but it's better than not being able to sleep at all. So, I mean, that's a plus for me, I get to sleep. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay here, but yeah, I'm gonna head off to bed now. So yeah, good night, see ya. Morning. 8.30 now. I just packed the bed up. I forgot to do that. Um, on camera, but I did it. About to start heading out. Last night was pretty good. It wasn't that bad. Even though the uh, air mattress kept deflating, I think I heard a leak, so... I mean, I'm not complaining. It was $7 for the mattress. But, um... Yeah, it was cold. I had to double up on the blanket and then put on my sweater after a while. But it's, um, I have the car on now, so the heater's on. Um, but no one bothered me, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, so now I think I'm gonna head over to Holland and take some photos with some tulips and grab some food and then go back to school. That's the plan right now. As soon as I finish packing everything up, then we're gonna go, so yeah. made it to Windmill Island. I'm not really sure what the history is behind this thing, but they got a little cute Dutch thing going on. There's a little park and the houses or whatever. But I'm gonna go look for some tulips to take some photos. There's not many big bunches, but I'm gonna look around. Made it to that main attraction, the windmill with the uh, tulips. Pretty good. I've been taking pictures for like the past, I don't know, like 30 minutes now. Those self portraits slash just art, art pics, but it's really nice. Yeah. This is an unexpected surprise, but I think I'm gonna be heading over back to school soon. Okay, so Windmill Island was cool. And it just felt like there wasn't that much to see. I paid $9 to get in and I felt like I got my five, $5 worth out of it. So I don't know, I, I can't, I'm not just gonna stay around for longer just to do nothing. So I'm gonna, gonna go back to school now. Um, yeah, stay tuned for part two, part two of this camp vlog, travel, Michigan travel vlog, cause I think part two is gonna be pretty sick. So yeah, thanks for watching, gang.